wrong with y'all being professional and being there on time the time that you tell the people that you're gonna fucking be there? guys <clears throat> I had to put my hoodie on because my hair is looking crazy I'm actually um sitting outside the place right now to get my hair done I had to get up early this morning wash my hair blow dry it my job I'm so tired so she's about to open in a few minutes hopefully she comes on time because this place sometimes don't know time um yeah and then I have to go get my nails done after this um I'm gonna go to Sephora today cause I wanna pick up new makeup there's something that I wanna try I wanna pick that up and then I have to go to Target I have to get some deodorant I heard Dove has a new deodorant that has like no aluminum and things like that I kind of want to try it, but I'm hesitant on trying it because it's like, are y'all telling the truth? <laughs> are y'all telling the truth? Or you just know that this is a, there's a wave right now with, you know, natural deodorants. Y'all just want to jump on a bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? But I do need some new deodor deodorant either way. So I do have to go to Target today. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It is cold in New York oh my goodness it's so cold before I put y'all up before I picked y'all up I had the heat blasting but of course I had to turn it down because then y'all wouldn't be able to hear me but I had the heat blasting y'all oh my goodness mm -mm -mm. it is so cold like I love the winter for job purposes but then I hate the winter like, I love the winter because when it snows and, you know, all the stuff, you know, you get overtime and stuff like that in my job. But then I hate the winter because it's, like, it's so freaking cold. It's just, it makes no sense. It's so cold. <sighs> yeah. But it is what it is. That's the price of living in New York. And I don't think I can live anywhere else. I love New York. Nah, I'm lying. I can live somewhere else. I love Houston. <laughs> That's where my Airbnb is at, too. Houston. I love Houston. But yeah, you guys, so I'm going to go get my nails done after this. Um, hopefully, like I said, she comes on time because my nail appointment is at 1230 and I can't miss that. And my girl meets, you know what I'm saying? And when it comes to appointments, I don't play when it comes to appointments. I'll be on time. I don't, I don't play that because I know my time is valuable and their time is valuable. So I don't play that. So way. I didn't get my hair done. <laughs> Which I kind of knew was going to happen. I really have to stop going to that place because this is ridiculous. You tell people to get there for 10 o'clock. That's number one. You, you tell them to get there for 10 o'clock. Then it's 10 o'clock, you, you're not there. 10.30, you're not there. 11 o'clock, you're not there. I call her and I'm like, um, are you going to be here? Because I have an appointment. I have my nail appointment. Or I'm going to be there in 20 minutes. That was at 11.20, y'all. So you're going to be here at 11.40? I've been sitting out there since 8.21 just to make sure that I'm the first person there because I don't play that when it comes to, especially if it's like a walk-in place, I make sure I'm the first one because I don't have time to be sitting there all day and I want to get in and get out. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the last straw for me. I'm, I'm not going back there. I can't do that. Like, when it comes to a business, good, granted, honest, and it's your business. But what happened to professionalism? Like, what's wrong with y'all being professional and being there on time the time that you tell the people that you're going to fucking be there? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so mad. Like, but you know what, though? It's all good because I'm, I'm going to be able to get my hair done today um, by a friend, which I should have probably hit up in the first place, but that's what I get. So I'm going to just keep, like, I keep all my money in my family when it comes to my friends and everything. I have an esthetician friend. I have a nail friend. I have a makeup friend. I'm just going to keep the money in my in my family. That's it. Like, that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of you hoes. I'm sorry. I'm sick of y'all. Anyways, 
on my way to get my nails done now by Meech. Hopefully she has my mimosa ready. <laughs> my mimosa. I can't wait for my mimosa. So, yeah. I would like to get to know. was a disaster and no so i'm about to go out with my girl rika we're about to go to brunch and i did a light beat today because i really didn't want to do any makeup but she was like oh girl you're a youtuber now get cute <laughs> so i was like you know what let me get a little cute so i did a little light beat nothing too crazy because i have to come back home and then i'm gonna get ready for work later so yeah so we're about to go to brunch, have a good time. I have the, um, you know, the orange one. Hey girl. Hey girl. <laughs> I was gonna buy the, um, what's it called? The what? No, I have the Juneteenth ones, which is green, the black, green and black ones. Mm -hmm. I have that one, I was gonna wear those today. But I want the, the patent leather black ones. I want ones. those too. But I'm a seven, I'm gonna seven and a half. When I bought them, I'm like, oh, I think I kinda want this now. Yeah, it's my <laughs> I'm gonna see what you said stockings. I'm gonna see what it looks like. All right, y'all. So we are on the way to brunch. We didn't change the whole location because <laughs> we had a whole different location to go to. But then we saw another location that had really good drinks. It seems really good drinks. Ugh, my lashes, Jesus Christ. Really good drinks, and then um, I heard the food was good. So we're gonna go try it and see Isn't what that? happens. So yeah. <laughs> Chevy Drive, look alive, look alive Niggas came up on this side, now they on the other side Oh well, fuck them dawg, we gon' see how hard they ride I get racks to go outside, and I spit it with the guys We up on the other side, niggas actin' like we tied I been gone since like July, niggas actin' like I died They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied Hey. Hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fuck up, I'ma be downtown, man. Full flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the edge, so it really ain't my motherfucking fault, man. I'm not to blame, man. The fucking industry is cut, though. I'm not the same, man. And I can let you check the tag. Now I'm rocking name brand. I'm only. Drinky drinks, couple of drinky drinks. But yeah, you guys just got home, and I am about to take my clothes off, shower, 
relax watch Ozark oh my gosh you guys I'm so happy that Ozark is back like I'm gonna be a mess when it ends because Ozark was my show for real for real and I'm on episode two it's episode two <laughs> it's episode two but yeah I'm on episode two and I'm about to finish watching it right now because it's supposed to be like a, a two-part series all these shows nowadays is doing like two parts three parts four parts whatever why just let me get the whole season and let me get it done with like I want to just watch it straight to I want to just binge I love binging I don't want to sit there I don't want to I hate watching show by show every week. I want to binge. Let me just binge. Give me it all. I want it all. Hey, y'all. It is Tuesday. And, yeah, I am on my way to work. Well, actually, I'm kind of, like, down the block. I'm kind of here. But I just want to talk to y'all now because I know I didn't pick y'all up yesterday. Yesterday, I don't know. Ever since, like... I've gotten old I think maybe past 30 and I drink like I need the whole next day to recuperate I don't know if that's just is that just me please comment down below let me know if that's just me because I've been needing the whole next day to recuperate it's like I don't have no strength or nothing like that you know so I didn't do anything yesterday I came home then on top of that I had to do overtime last night so came home um, ordered dinner because I didn't cook like I said I was tired and then um, I just relaxed, took a nap before, you know, work or whatever. So now I am on my way to work. And today I have an appointment, which I kind of don't want to go. I don't feel like driving all the way over there. Yeah, so I might be canceling that appointment. I'll let y'all know. <laughs> I might reschedule that appointment probably for the weekend. I feel like the weekend is more my time to do things because during the week, I like to just work and that's it. But I do still have to go to Target. I have to get deodorant, stuff like that. So, you know, I think I'm definitely going to do that today. Hey, y'all. I'm finally off work. Thank you, Jesus. It smells like fresh air and freedom. <laughs> so... I'm finally at my appointment, and my appointment is for 515, so I'm just sitting here. Because if you know European Wax Center, you can't go, oh, especially because everything is COVID. COVID, COVID, COVID. You can't go in there until your appointment time now. Um, So, yeah, I have to sit and wait in the car. And look what's behind me, y'all. See that? Target. I said I need to go to Target. So, I'm so happy there's a Target right here. So, now I can go to Target, get everything that I need. And yeah, just head home. Um, I'm praying that tomorrow, well, tonight, I don't get called for overtime because I would love to go to the gym tomorrow. Because uh, I've been, like, trying to, like, get it back together. But it's so hard when you have to work, you know what I'm saying? Um, Especially if I'm doing a double, I'm tired. And I do not, let me tell you something, I don't go to the gym after work. I'm too tired for that. I'd rather go to the gym in the morning before I go to work let me get all my energy let me you know what I'm saying even though it, it's like hard for me to wake up and go but I'd rather go in the morning because you know after work you want to come home you don't want to be you know what I'm saying you don't want to go to my, nobody's gym or nobody's nothing you know what I mean even right now it's even hard for me to even be here right now because I just want to go home I'm driving here past my house and I'm just like damn you know what I'm saying but the lady that I like at European Wax Center, this is the time that she had available. And I really don't change up my wax professional. I don't like to do that because once I get comfortable with somebody, I just like to keep the same person. So, yeah. So, that's what that is right now. Alright, y'all. So, I don't even see the one that I wanted to try. It is not even here, y'all. So... This is the brand that I usually get, the Natives. So I think I'm just going to pick that up because I know nothing about that brand. And yeah, I'm not getting the rest. So, so 
I'm gonna just get my natives and call it a day. I'm trying to figure out what, <laughs> I'm about to say what flavor, which one I want, cause I usually get the mint one. I don't see it here. Uh, I don't know. Let's try something with bergamot. <sighs> yeah. Oh, I found it. Cucumber and mints. Yeah, this is the one. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. I just picked up a couple more things because you know you can't go and Target and not pick up exactly what you came there for. You always got to get some other stuff. So, of course, I got my deodorant. I got some lotion, one for me, one for my son. I always wanted to try this. I seen somebody else post about it um, recently, and then I was like, you know what? Let me hit up the product junkie herself to see if she ever tried it. So I hit up my friend Rika and asked if she tried it. And of course she said she did and she loved it. So $8 a pop, but I wanted to see what it was talking about. Because yeah, stops morning breath. I'm a little skeptical, but we gonna try it. And then of course I got my Dr. Bronner's. I don't know about y'all, does anybody else get burns from the soap? Because it burns me on my chest. I don't know what it is. Um, even I even dilute it and it's still the same thing, but I love it so much. I yeah, I ain't see that. <laughs> I can't stop using it. Um, so what I do with it is I'll use it and then once it starts to burn, I'll switch to something else for a little while and then I'll start using it again. Yeah, it's weird, but I love it even though you know. It doesn't love me, but it's all good. So yeah, that's what I picked up today. Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday morning, and I am on my way to work. Um, yeah. So I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, no reason. I just didn't pick up the camera yesterday. So I'm vlogging today. Um, there's about to be a big snowstorm that's coming to New York. But they don't know how much it's going to be, if it's even going to hit like New York City. Because it's definitely going to hit Long Island. But they said if it goes a certain route, it will hit New York. But if it goes another route, it won't hit like um, New York City. But it'll hit Long Island. Which I primarily work in Long Island. But yeah, I mean, I don't really care because more money for me and my job. So, <laughs> but um yeah so that's why today i am actually going to try and stock up on some food because one there's already a food shortage that's number one and then now with like all the snow and everything coming people are gonna you know go crazy me too because <laughs> i was supposed to go food shopping already anyway so it's not like i'm just going to do it for the storm but because i already had to do it and then the storm is coming it's like yeah you have to do it you know what i'm saying so I'm gonna do that today just to prepare and hopefully and I'm so happy that it's hitting on Saturday because I am off I mean of course I might get called into work but primarily I'm off so I'm happy about that I could be home with some hot chocolate hopefully cuddling <laughs> I know um Isaiah won't be home he's going to his grandma's house for the weekend um, so he won't be home so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, I need to get my lashes done and put some kind of strips on or something. I miss having my lashes done. So I used to get my lashes done like all the time. And um, when I decided that I wanted to buy a house, I'm like, okay, I have to buckle down with all my expenses. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, like even with my nails, my nails, I go all out for my nails. My nails be long. They're they're extravagant you know what i'm saying i go all out but i know that because i want this specific thing and i know it's gonna take a lot to get it they look at your finances they look at everything like your bank statements everything i'm like i really have to buckle down with my spending i have to buckle down with my savings to save even more and let this be a lesson like sometimes you have to fall back from what you want 
to get what you want if that makes sense like you like your nails and you know eyelashes it's not something you you like necessarily need but of course it's something that you want but to get what I want and what I really need because of course I need a bigger space for me and my child you know what I'm saying I want a house I want generational wealth I want anything happens to me you know I could pass something down to him you know what I mean so that's something that um, I'm working towards very hard in 2022 so I really have to buckle down with like you know going out I mean I don't go out like that already anyway like I'm a workaholic if you know me you know I grind I work and that's not because I want to work but I have to work you know what I'm saying like I'm a single parent I have to do what I gotta do I'm, I'm never gonna have my kid on, out on the street or him not being able to have the things that he needs or sometimes that he wants because you know as a kid you want things you know what I'm saying so I have to basically buckle down and you know do the things that I have to do so yeah so that's just what that is. So I'm thinking about going to maybe get some strips or something to put some strips on because I just love the way the lash. Like you could have, your hair could not be done. But if you have your lashes on, no, I'm lying. You need your hair done. <laughs> I'm lying. You need your hair done. But if you have some lashes on and you have your hair done, it's like makeup without having makeup. You get what I'm saying? Like, you, you look like something you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so I'm definitely thinking about doing that but um if my girl Amanda watches this girl I am coming back I'm coming back I'm actually gonna come back for because I did say when I do do my eyelashes it would be for a special occasion because I just love the way eyelashes look with well lash extensions I should say I love the way they look with makeup I love it like um, strips can't compare to me in my opinion I see the difference in my makeup and how my makeup and everything looks when I have lash extensions on but I am gonna go back just for Valentine's Day and then I'll be back to my normal strips you know yeah y'all the supermarket is so fucking crowded right now Oh my goodness. There's so much people here. It's fucking crazy. I just want to just get the fuck in and get out. Okay? That's it. Let me make sure my car door is locked. Okay. Now time to go into the jungle. Good morning, you guys. So, I am finally home. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here because a lot has been... <laughs> A lot has um, happened since the last clip. The last clip you guys see me going to the supermarket before the snowstorm. And, um, yeah, that was crazy because it was, like, no food at the supermarket. It was, like, no chicken and stuff like that, which we're everything is already scarce right now. But I think um, the fear of, you know, a big storm coming and stuff like that definitely made it worse. So I just got home from work and... Um, yeah, I'm about to relax. It's it's crazy. So I'm gonna end the vlog right here, you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next vlog.